Oh, good morning. Good morning. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Vanessa Kins. I'm a course student at UTSA. I'm in the post baccalaureate program, and it has been a really fun experience. Where are you placed and what grade? I am in a third grade class, San Antonio ISD, and the school is Barclay Ruiz Academy. Very good. I have some questions to okay. ask you. Uh, reflecting on your experience this semester, what did you learn about yourself and the act of teaching and learning? Um, I learned a lot about myself. It was a very challenging semester, I have to say. Um, I'm very proud of everything that I've been able to do and accomplish. Um, I learned that having patience is key, and I know, I mean, for some people that can be a challenge, but thank goodness for me, it, um, it comes somewhat easy, but I learned that, you know, teaching should be taken very seriously, however, it should be fun as well, and I think that there's a, a balance with that. And setting high expectations, I think, is key, especially when it comes to classroom management. So that's one thing I do recommend is always um, always dot your T's or dot your I's and cross your T's because that's going to ensure uh, everything's going to fall in place after that, I think. So. Very good. Okay, what would you have done differently during your student teaching <clears throat> semester? What would I have done differently? There's a lot of times where I thought I was prepared, but I think it took, you know, the, the full experience just to better myself. And it wasn't until my full teach did I set up a system that got me better prepared for every day. And before I left the day or the night before, because I would be here until the evenings, um, I would have everything laid out. I would have everything written out, and I would have it all on a table, and by the end of the day, the table was empty. And what I would have changed is, you know, being better prepared at the beginning, but it just it came with the course of, you know, learning what, what works best for me, and then I found what works best with me, you know, by the time my full teach came, so. What suggestions do you have for future student teachers? Future student teachers, I would, I would be as organized as possible, even with time. Um, as I was telling everybody, um, fellow student teachers, and you know, family and friends, that every hour in the day counts, and I would set expectations for myself. I would, you know, make schedules of like, this is what I'm going to do, you know, during these hours and whatnot, because, you know, everything can catch up easily. And you just need to, you know, have patience with yourself and set goals and, you know, have a really good schedule. And have a good schedule because there's a lot to be done. There's a lot to be done and every hour counts and, you know, just be as prepared as you can throughout the days because you're always going to balance it. You're trying to prepare for the following week, however you're trying to teach for the current week that you're in. So it's having that balance, you know, with those two aspects. Great. So preparation. Preparation. Okay. Is there any other comment, question, concern that you would like to express this time? Um, I feel like the important things for myself of the, what I answered is what I would like to express is to take you know the student teaching seriously but try to have fun with it don't be too hard on yourself because you have to recognize that you are a student this is a huge learning experience um, I have definitely had growth from the beginning till now even conversing with my classroom teacher and don't be too hard on yourself and take constructive criticism be open with yourself and with uh, Ms. Comir, with your supervisor, and with your CT. And don't feel, you know, don't feel bad to say that you made a mistake. Learn from it, and then you know, reflect because it's all about reflection. And then that's never going to end throughout your teaching career. And you know, just go forward. Go forward, 
and then that's all you can do and have um there were some times where I would feel you know bad about something that you know could have gone better and then I just got over it because there's no time to be dwelling you know there's only time to just um make things better for the future so that's what I would suggest very very good well said well thank you (laughs) well thank you very much and keep in touch with us Thank you. Oh, and I would also say it goes by very quickly, and it's going to seem like a very long semester, but I don't know, it's the kids that make it very special, and I'm already sad (laughs) that I'm going to be leaving them, so um, anyways, yeah, it does go by fast, so thank you. Good luck. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well said.